looking for their second consecutive victory. The Western Michigan football team traveled to Atlanta, Georgia last weekend to take on the Georgia State Panthers in the first ever meeting between the two teams. In the Georgia heat, the Bronco offense was cooking. They rolled up 528 yards of total offense. Quarterback John Wasink was 20 of 25 passing with three touchdown passes. And the Bronco offensive line paved the way for both Levante, Bellamy, and Jamari Bogan to each run over 120 yards on the ground. Led by linebacker Drake Spears, the Bronco defense came up with 10 tackles for loss, three sacks, and three turnovers. Final score, Western Michigan 34, Georgia State 15. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week four of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff but we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. When home improvements are in your future, you should call BlackBerry. For more than 35 years, BlackBerry has provided windows, roofing, siding and sunrooms with thousands of satisfied customers throughout West Michigan. Right now at BlackBerry, you can get 10 of our best-selling high-performance double-hung windows for only $48.60 installed. 18 months no interest and $48.60 installed. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose auto owner's insurance. Later, his son made the same choice as did his grandson, and today his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Back to throw Wasink, post route into the end zone, touchdown Western Michigan. That's Brett Borski in the end zone for the touchdown, the tight end. And Western Michigan has the lead. It's 9 to 3, and the touchdown toss over the middle to the tight end on the post run. Great to have the big tight end back in the lineup. Brett Borski with his first career touchdown for Western Michigan in the victory last weekend at Georgia State. And uh, good to have a big 6'5 guy like him out there. Yeah, he can run. Unfortunately, he got hurt last year at USC and got hurt during camp. So he really just came back this week. And, uh, you know, big body like that. He catches great hands and uh, he's a bright future. All right, let's go to Atlanta, Georgia. You played at Georgia State Stadium, formerly Turner Field, the 20-year home of the Atlanta Braves. You also also hosted the Olympic Games here back in the mid-90s. And here you go, Western Michigan and Georgia State. It was pretty hot down there. It was hot. The, the turf made it hotter. I think it was 90, probably on the turf, a little bit over 100. And uh, so it was exciting for our guys. We had talked about it, prepared for it. Uh, but yeah, getting a chance to go to Turner, and it's still there's still dead definitely a lot of baseball feel to it you know you can't hide that uh, so it was a unique place to play yeah I was in the corner booth behind home plate which isn't there anymore if they're playing baseball you'd have the best seat in the house I would have had a great seat if it was a baseball game and there's Drake Spears he was all over the field yeah this was a big play I mean they they were putting a drive together until we brought Drake off the weak side there and he had a great sack fumble here you know Ellington did not see him come did a great job with his right arm making sure he got the uh, got the fumble and uh, got the ball back and allowed our offense to start moving the ball. Here you go to work with the passing game. You had a nice little drive here. You stalled a bit, so he called on Gavin Petty, his first of two field goals. He was 
Mac West Special Teams Player of the Week. Yeah, I mean, true freshman, and, and the kid's just getting better and better every time he's in there. So he made two big kicks for us uh, during the game. Here's a great play by Anton Curtis. I love the pass breakup. I mean, it's kind of a stat that goes unnoticed. I love those, and that was a great one. Yeah, I mean, he was horizontal when he did it. It looked like there might be a moment where he was beat and did a, did a great job of breaking it up. He's doing a great job at, at corner. He's made that transition from wide receiver to defensive back, and here's Chase Brown showing his hands. Yeah, he got it two or three times. They played a really a real soft coverage. It's good to see John use his check downs, and, and here's the story of the game. Our, our our defense got after Ellington all day, and he wasn't comfortable in the pocket, and, and uh, it really was the story of the game. Some of those were blitzes, but most of them were just reads by your guys. Yeah, we're reading reading our keys and coming. I thought our D-line did a great job of making sure that we got uh, you know got our hands out there first, and they, they made a big difference in the game. Nice toe tap here by Drake Harris. Yeah, he's a long, he's all of 6'3", you know, and uh, we haven't got him behind coverage. He got behind coverage, but John didn't have many bad throws. He made one bad throw. It happened to be to Drake when Drake got behind coverage, but, uh, you know, we got to get those two on the same page, and, and here's here's the big tight end down the shoot. That's Brett Borski with the touchdown, and uh, the Broncos with your first of three touchdown passes in this game. Yeah, it's a great back shoulder throw. The guy did a good job getting hip to hip with, uh, with, with Brett, and John did a good job of throwing it, throw him open. We always call it throw him open, and, and, uh, and he turned and made a big catch. If that back shoulder throw is thrown properly, it's almost indefensible. Yeah, I mean, a lot of defensive coaches don't even get upset with their DBs. If the ball is thrown in the right place, it's literally uncoverable. Here's a big play in the game. Deshaun Foster blows up the quarterback, knocks the ball loose, and you're able to scoop it up before it went out of bounds, and so you have a new possession. Yeah, and anytime, you know, unfortunately we had to kick a field goal here, but I was, I was happy that Gavin is his longest in one of his career, obviously. But, uh, you know, we got to push that in and, and continue to get better at that. He was kicking at Granville High School last year. <laughs> I know, he's still, and he looks like he's 12. He just has a, someday he's going he's gonna to like looking young. But uh, he got on the plane before he went down there, and he had his hat on backwards, and he, he looked like one of my young kids. All right, the little swing pass. All of your backs can catch the football. That's another weapon for you. Yeah, I mean, this having them as a check down, especially with as much space as we have, and here's a great throw. This drive, this two-minute drive we had was, was one of the most impressive drives. Probably my most favorite drive of the year because there was a lot that happened. John used a bunch of different receivers. We ran the ball. We lined up quickly. And, uh, and I really felt like we kind of took control of the game because of that drive. That ball was tipped, but it got through the upright anyway, and so you had seven more. Yeah, and, and we finished the half the right way, you know. Um, you know, we finally got our first interception. We've had our hands on so many. And A.J. Thomas, who's got a really bright future, uh, you know, finished the half the right way for us. He wanted to take that to the house. I talked with him this week. Uh, he had a touchdown for you last year on mm -hmm. a scoop and score. Yeah, we had it on punt, you know. We, we kind of blocked the punt, and, and he scooped it up and ran it in. And, he is a uh, he's a dynamic dynamic athlete. A lot of Bronco fans down in Atlanta, Georgia, for Western Michigan and Georgia State. When we come back, we'll look at the second half highlights of this Western Michigan victory on the road. Now this time out on Bronco Review. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Western's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far from your next car. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Choosing your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here. Grow here.
Little Caesars has done it again by giving you one large pizza piled high with five delicious meat toppings, hot and ready every day between 4 and 8 p.m. for only nine bucks. You heard me right. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Meat toppings, including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Order yours on our convenient mobile app or simply walk into Little Caesars and pick up your large, hot and ready five meat feast for just $9 tonight. Pizza, pizza. Wasik turns and hands it off to Bogut, finds a little crease up the middle. He's into the secondary. He may go. He's to the 30, 20, 10. They won't catch him into the end zone. Touchdown to Mari Bogut. 71 yards to the house. And the Broncos extend their lead. Seventy-one yards to the house for Jamari Bogan as uh, the Bronco offensive line. They were just mauling people in this game, and Jamari with his thirtieth career touchdown, coach. Yeah, it was great to see him break a long one. I mean, we had in the first half had not broken one. We had been pounding and pounding and getting seven yards of carry, uh, but to see him get in the open, he made a great read. Actually, had to cut it back and then back to the front side, and um, it was great. No one caught him, you know, and he 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 actually pulled away from everybody. It was fun to watch. Those runs are fun to watch, but the runs I like out of Jamari, all oh, those two and three yard gains that uh, keep the chains moving. Yeah, and he he's special at that. His vision is unbelievable. He's hard to see. You know, you put him back behind some of our big offensive linemen, he finds a way. I mean, that that fourth quarter drive, every third and short, he was he was the one that ran the ball. I don't know if you noticed that. All right, here you go with uh, Jaden Reed with another touchdown grab. Yeah, it was great. We had a matchup we liked, and we knew with the way we're running the ball, we could buy enough time to run the route uh, with John. And John had no one even in the screen with him when he threw this ball. And, and uh, Jaden Reed just continues to get better for the true freshman. All right, so the Broncos continue to uh, build on their lead. That uh, made it 27 to 9. And the defense goes back to work, and they did a good job against this dual threat guy. Yeah, and I mean, he's such a, he's a dynamic. I mean, we'd watch him against every team, you know, North Carolina State, he had a bunny, bunch of yards and he was tough to tackle, and I thought our guys did a good job of keeping the pressure on him. Right, here you go with the uh, run game again, and here's Jamari coming right into your living room and taking it 71 yards of the end zone. Yeah, he looks like he's facing the official there. He's going to win. <laughs> uh, you know, Jamari's one of the leaders on our team, and, and he just shows up every single day, and he understands the situation in the game. Uh, that one, he didn't have to do much work. That was a huge hole. <laughs> I mean, the old line, no one even touched him. So he's got to give some credit to the big boys up front and those tight ends, too. All right, and the Bronco fans on hand, and there's a lot of alums down in this area. There's a ton, and, and we recruit down there. We had a bunch of the Florida recruits there, and uh, a lot of them were smart enough to, they moved up into the shade. You know, there was a little corner of shade, and all our fans were tucked in there, and they were going nuts, and, um, you know, our defense gave them a lot to cheer about. Corbin moment putting pressure on, and AJ almost had another pick. He said, "He told, you know he had his first one, but of the year he should have had more." He said. All right, and here you go, get into the quarterback again, and I'll tell you what, it was uh, an outstanding day for everybody that were Bronco fans as we uh, continue with the highlights from Georgia State Stadium. A little different uh, playing football in a converted baseball stadium. Well, different for you. I, I didn't know until after the game that you were in the corner of the end zone, <laughs> which had to be weird. But this is the drive. This 10-minute drive, our defense had just been out there too long. And we went, uh, I don't know how many yards, 70, 70 yards in 10 minutes. And we held the ball for 12 and a half of the 15 minutes in the fourth quarter. And we did this. We ran the ball. There's Bogan running hard again. And we let those guys sit there and have some water. And uh, when they went out there one last time, they got a stop, and, uh, and the game was over. All right, uh, going to the quick passing game to Jaden Reed. Now the handoff again, and you rotate those backs in there, keep them all fresh. They're all fresh, and then we, we rotated some O-line too just because the heat, heat was, getting, was getting up there. And it was fun to watch them all go in there. They knew what we were doing. We, we talked to them about it. Like this is the time matters more than the score right now. And, uh, you know, we, got, we ran it outside, we ran it inside, we ran it with a lot of different people, and, and our O-line is special, and they're showing it. Broke out the jet sweep. We did. We gave it to Bird, and, and Borski made an unbelievable block on that play, and, uh, and so did Chase Brown. So it was, it was a good to show. We, we fake it so much, we had to make sure that everyone knows we can do both. It's Chase Brown in the middle there, getting some yardage, and, uh, you know, those three, four, five-yard runs are big. Yeah, especially in a game like this. When you have a, a three-score lead, it's hot. The defense is a little bit tired. And, uh, you know, we did a good job of, of taking, really ending the game time-wise. Nick Mahalik doesn't show up in the stats for the uh, 
distance on his punts, but he's done a great job of uh, pinning the ball in there for him. He has, for a true freshman, you know, and, and he, he has a leg on him. I think he hit one in the game that really he got he got a hold of. We see it in practice all the time. He's just getting stronger and stronger, and uh, I can't, I'm can't. i excited to watch him when uh, as he gets continues to grow. Trey Hayward almost had the pick there. Now you got more pressure on the quarterback, and there's Drake Spears he, on top. He man. tackled the running back and the quarterback. <laughs> I, don't think he knew, I don't think he knew who had the ball, you know, and so he took them both. <laughs> <laughs> Why not tackle both, right? <laughs> That's great. And uh, the Broncos just grinding out yardage here in the fourth quarter. Coach, you dominated a time of possession. You had it over nine and a half minutes more than your opponent. Yeah, and we and this this final drive was good. I mean, those guys up front, we knew we were going to get tired, and if we made the game longer, it wasn't going to be to our advantage. And, you know, we got a little penalty uh, that made it first and 20, and, and this is the way we answered with a little outside zone. And, and any time you get Bellamy on the edge, life is pretty good. And uh, I took a big one. I, at that point, I realized their coach wasn't using his timeouts, and, and we knelt on it, and the game was over. That outside zone is Levante's play. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's good at it. He's good at it. <laughs> All right, you take the victory formation, the, uh, the best play in football. Yeah, it is. We always talk about it, and, and, and I wasn't sure. You know, their coach was a great guy, and he, I could tell that he was letting the game end, and, and I didn't want to go score again. So it was, it was, it was the right thing to do. Broncos celebrate with their fans get on the plane and head back home for their second consecutive victory as they defeat Georgia State 34 to 15 as they wrap up non-conference play. Now the Broncos go into the Mid-American Conference season starting this weekend at Miami. We'll look ahead next on Bronco Review. Jay, when you need home improvements, you should call Blackberry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension care teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. Part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there, own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome to throw Ellington pressure again he's hit and he's sacked sacked again the Broncos came with some pressure and Drake Spears brings him down on the sack and the Western Michigan defense has been getting after Ellington all day long Drake Spears with an incredible game he had nine tackles three tackles for loss and two sacks forced a couple of fumbles he was all over the field on Saturday. He is playing at a great level right now. I mean, he is seeing things. He is triggering fast, and he's naturally a fast kid. But uh, you know, as he's got more and more comfortable playing, he's really he's really come, turning into a heck of a player. And team him in there with Alex Grace, who's your leading tackler, and then a young man, AJ Thomas, 
who's really coming on at the safety or middle levels doing a great job. Yeah, you know, and then you, you, you surround, obviously, Tranquil, our DNs are returning, Corvin Moment, who was our player of the game two weeks ago, and uh, they're really coming along. We knew we had a lot of new guys on defense, and we knew they'd come along at their own pace, and I've been happy uh, with the improvement we've seen in the last couple of weeks. And the second year in uh, defensive coordinator Tim Dowst's defense has made a big impact on these guys that are reacting instead of you know, thinking about it. Yeah, they look well, great. They look like they know what they're doing. You know, last year we were a little st- a step slow. We're playing on their sideline scrimmage. We're getting more tackles for loss. The last big piece of this defense is the turnovers, and we're starting to get those. We didn't have any the first couple days or first couple games, and now we're starting to hit people. We're squaring them up, getting hitting them harder. We're getting more fumbles, uh, which is a hallmark of what we want to be. And the offense. Coach Lester calling the plays. You lead the MAC right now in total offense. We are doing it. We're balanced, I think. I mean, play call wise, I mean, we're maybe a little bit more run than pass, but I think we're, my goal is to be 50 50 and be able to do everything. And we have enough talent to do everything. And I think uh, that really scares the defense more than anything when they don't know what's coming because we can do everything well. And, and uh, we got ways to go, but I, I like where we're at. All right, the non conference season is behind them. Now they move on to Mid American Conference play this weekend, traveling to Oxford, Ohio to take on Miami. We'll look ahead to that game next on Bronco Review. Introducing Little Caesars Large Hot and Ready Five Meat Feast with five delicious meat toppings. One, two, three, four, five. Including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Only $9 at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far from your next car. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. It's time for more. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. How much did it cost? $5! It's four slices of deep, deep dish and a Pepsi for just $5. Pizza, pizza. And Wasik in the pistol with Bellamy behind him. Keeps it on a naked bootleg. Throws back on the post route over the middle to Reed. He's got it into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Jaden Reed, they call him Bird. He's off to a great start as a Division I college football player who was playing high school football in Illinois a year ago. <laughs> yeah, he is a dynamic young man and a great kid and doing a lot of things, punt returning, 
Uh, he's our backup kickoff return guy. Uh, he's running the ball. He's catching the ball. Um, you know, he's got a bright future. And he'll be at Miami this week when the Broncos take on the Red Hawks. And here's a physical team, Miami, and they are 1-0 and in the conference. They beat Bowling Green in their back opener last week. Yeah, and they handled the game from beginning to end. I mean, they, they really dominated that game, and they, they dominated the defensive uh, defensive side. And offensively, they ran it down their throats. And uh, it was a really a manhandling type game. You know, they lost their really good receiver. So I think they're leaning towards managing a little bit more, running it down people's throats. And they're going to play man against us, uh, you know, on their defense. And they're going to give us chances that we're, they're going to try to make it hard for us to run the ball. And it's going to be a battle. Yeah, Gus Raglan is a fifth year senior at quarterback and his top target a year ago was James Gardner. And he was lost for the season earlier. And uh, they've had to tweak how they do things now. Yeah, he was a dynamic player. I mean, he was an all -con first team all-conference kid, and uh, those are hard to, to, to find. And uh, so they're a little different. They don't have a dynamic player outside. They have some good players outside, but not one big guy. And, and so, you know, they have a, they're, they're sprinkled with fifth-year seniors everywhere, you know, and that's a scary thing. They're going to be good in a close game, and they're going to be well-led. Um, you know, and, and they want to do the same thing we want to do. So it's it's going to be. I've never been there. It's going to be it's going to be a fun fun game. Yeah, Chuck Martin is the head coach in Miami. He has some Michigan ties, of course, and uh, he's got quite a few Michigan guys on that team, including their middle linebacker, Junior McMullen from the Detroit area. He's a beast. <sighs> can he hit you now? I mean, he he is uh, he can run and hit, and he comes down fast. I mean, he's not one of those guys. He's not a read and react guy. He is going to. See ball, hit ball is what we say, and, and he's going to come down. So our linemen are going to have to be ready for that. We, we've been working on that, that he's not going to read anything and, and, and try to scrape. He is going to go through your outside shoulder pad. So we're, we're aware of that, and, and uh, we're just excited to get out there and play again. I think I like where we're at as a team. I like, where, I like the momentum we're building, um, and we just can't wait to get out there and play every day. All right, and it's going to be your first trip to Oxford, Ohio. Yeah. This many years in the MAC, you've never been there. I played as a player for five years, and now as a coach for four. Nine years in the MAC, we've never played the Red Hawks, and and I know, obviously we're on different divisions, but it's just random that it's never, we've never crossed paths, and uh, it'll be fun to go down. I've heard it's a beautiful place, and um, you know it's going to be a business trip, and we got to go down there with a job to do and, and take care of it. Coach, good luck in the MAC opener. I appreciate it. And we'll have all the highlights on our next Bronco Review show as the Broncos travel to Oxford, Ohio to take on the Miami Red Hawks. For our staff, for Coach Lester, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Bronco Review.